everyone today I'll be doing part 2. To my top 30 heroes characters skins. This will be numbers 20 through 11. And I will go into some depth explaining. Why some characters are ranked where they are. But remember this is just my opinion and if you think some should switch around that's fine. But I don't really care. Number 20, Mal. Cost around 1.6k Robux. Mal used to be able to two shot. Mostly everyone a while back with just X and Z, but now her X and Z is usually not enough. If the person is full, she can still two shot most, but not with X and Z. In my opinion, you honestly don't need her. Most Mal players still do X, Z, and a combo which would work on anyone with even the base character. She is better than base Dark Phoenix, but 1.6k is a lot. If you're just going to use the same combo, her shield isn't good either and all Dark Phoenix skins besides new Mal are bad for out spamming someone. She is good, but not as good as she used to be since a lot of players have health buffs now. In my opinion, she is tied with the next person on the list. 19. DPA cost around 1.8k Robux. You could switch her and Mal around, but I have her above. Because she actually has a good shield and her insta is at 95%. However, besides her insta, her damage is the same as base. Her cooldowns are very slightly shorter. Honestly, not much of a difference. And in my opinion, it's usually easier to do the X, Z, F combo with Mal than X and R with DPA. Her self-resurrection kinda sucks it doesn't damage. Or push back players so they can easily end you as soon as you come back. Her meteors don't work in the mansion, she's bad to outspam. And her F has no stun. Next. 18. Why Decay Raven Was a code skin but also came back on sale once for coins. Why Decay buff spell lasts a lot longer than base Raven spell. However, her health is actually now lower with the spell than without it. Not sure if they'll fix that. Without the spell Why Decay Raven isn't different compared to base. Besides her bird which does make a difference sometimes. <laughs> Her bird is much larger and you're less likely to miss with it. Her combos are good, health is good, shield is fine. Not much to say besides, she's good. Next. 17. Starlight. Cost. I think it was 750 first R than 900. But she's currently unavailable. One slot. She's only been on sale once surprisingly. Her R and X aren't different from base Agatha, but her Z in a combo makes a big difference along with her bolts. Her bolts do the highest damage. They do 100 each. And they knock players back. However, her bolts are slow and it's like every other bolt does no damage. I don't know if I explained it well, but if you have her, you might know. Her Z does good damage and affects a large area. Her health is fine, I do have extra 50 but I think it would be fine without it. It's not so high but her R, X, and shield if damaged, make her gain health. She's a queen of surviving all those dreams. And her 3 spam options don't make her the easiest to kill. But in my opinion she could use a little buff. Because it is more difficult for her to combo others now. I'd like either her cooldowns. Our and X damage or health to be buffed doesn't have to be extremely buffed just slightly. Her spell is cute doesn't last long at all. But it's nice little extra thing to have. She's good and easier to combo with than casual Agatha. But I actually have casual Agatha higher which might be an unpopular opinion. But I'll explain when I get there. Next. 16. Classic Loki. Cost 650,000 but not available now, one slot. Classic Loki is really good. He can definitely end anyone with his sleep or stun and daggers. However, if you're fast you can actually shield when he uses his E. And it's kinda easy to miss his daggers. 
But yeah, his R does a lot of damage, and so do his daggers. And his daggers barely even have a cooldown. He is what Cam's thought Sylvie was. I have no idea why Sylvie cost for a million and classic Loki only 6-5 okay. His health is good, cooldown's fine, shield is good. His main bad quality is he can't fly. I don't have a scooter so I can't say how much better he would be if you have one. But yeah, I think he's really good, moving on. 15. Casual Agatha, 1 slot, cost 850,000, but not available now. Casual Agatha is really good and kinda underrated. Her cooldowns for R and X are really short, you can do a combo. Going back and forth between the two. However, R and X don't leave a stun so you have to be good at spamming from X to R to back to X. And that is more difficult to do for mobile players, I think. So I think if you're not good at going from X to R, then you would probably have casual Agatha below Starlight. But honestly, you don't even need to be that good with Agatha to still eat. Because her X has a very short cooldown, does a lot of damage, and gives you back a lot of health. So sometimes you can kill players with just spamming X. Which is what I did to end someone in this clip. I knew I could just jump in use X and take damage because I would just end up getting it back. Whereas they wouldn't. So overall, not pricey. Her health is great. She gets health back. Short cooldowns besides F. X is good for spam. Love her, but she's not for everyone, I guess. I will probably do a easiest to use good character list if you guys want. But for now, next. 14. Dr. Fate. One slot. Cost 7 million coins. Guys, I actually had a difficult time finding a placement for Dr. Fate. On one hand, his attacks do good damage. He has spam options. He has high health and shield. But on the other hand, his attacks are so slow. His bounty is high which makes him targeted a lot, and he is really expensive. I feel like the main reason I even have him this high, despite being targeted a bunch, is because of his ult. His ult kills many characters, and you can do it secretly. However, the animation once you do it is slow, and you will probably get targeted by anyone left. That survived. His shield is probably another reason he gets targeted. It's just annoying and he can't use it while falling down from flight. He has to be on the ground. He is good but also so bad at the same time. I've never used him in a public server though so I can't say too much about him. But not worth his price, just save for an upcoming character. 13. Magic Devil Era Originally a code skin, but was also 2 million coins. One slot. Magic is really good for ending anyone. Her combos are really good and difficult to escape. Her health is great, her shield great. And she has limbo to go and heal. The only thing bad about her is it's difficult to spam with her. And escape combos. Her Z is tap, but it's not that great. Her C and X you have to do to clicks. I feel like it would be best to shield since it's tough, but it's just a shield and people can camp it. So really good at ending people not so great at defending herself. Next. 12. Star Sapphire. Cost 1.5 million coins. One slot. Star Sapphire is really great. Her X does great damage. She is guarded while using it, and it doesn't have a bad cooldown. It's a good spam option, and so is R. Her F is great lasts, long does lots of damage, and she can use it. While flying. Her telekinesis-like ability is my least favorite, it doesn't stun. Her health is good, and so is her shield that she can use. While flying. She is the best coins character besides Wednesday, in my opinion. Next. 11. 11. Cost around 1.6k Robux. One slot. If you want to move her further up, then that's fine. 
I don't have her so I really wasn't sure where to place her. For 11's ranking I went based on other people's opinion. So I really can't say much about her. She's obviously good health, not great, cooldowns, pretty long, shield is great. It's all about her insta pretty much. Well, that's it for this part.